Welcome back to Let's Play uh, The Sims Busting Out. What? Usually it'd be like, oh, welcome back, Echo. I mean, last time was the exception because he was at work and all, but still. So, yeah, welcome. My ears! Hi, Artie Vardy. So, like, my head feels like it's going to explode. <laughs> not talking about Echo and Kyle, just like, yeah, my head feels like it's going to explode or something. <laughs> well, your story's on as great man. But, I say that because, you know when, like, for example, say you're very crap at math. And then suddenly everything starts to fall into place and you're like, I understand now. I fear I'm finally understanding this. That's me right now, but it's with music. It's just like so many things just click in my head. It's just like, like the scales and all that, the notes, the numbers, it all makes perfect sense. And it just kind of like, <laughs> you know what? Like this, hey, yeah, 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 you're talking about me, Billy, hey, whatever. I'll zoom out just to kind of like ramble on here. So I just like got back from a guitar lesson about an hour ago or so. And as I predicted would happen, I didn't really go over much of the stuff that I was like, what did I talk to my guitar tutor about? Because like, there's all this interesting stuff, man, that I've like come across. So I've like, I've sort of like in that uh, Vocaloid song I made, which I didn't even show him. I'd like use the harmonic minor scale, but I'd actually managed to like transition from a major scale to a harmonic minor and then back again, switching scale as well, like T as well, later on in the song, and just like it's like it's so much stuff there, and then it's like all the other variety I did in my New Year's video, and you know, <laughs> I think of that video, just like, I put so much effort into it, so much music, so much learned, so much gained, and it's barely got any views at all. Just like, well, it is like 53 minutes long, but seriously, just like, all that, man, the bird, uh, uh, the bird was like, he was the percussionist for that, you know? He chirped through the majority of the soundtrack that I'd made. Zoom out. So, uh, gonna, gonna ramble on about that a little. Uh, well, you remember the You May Nicky bit? This is like, just kind of going over, like, I don't even know why I'm even talking about this, honestly. This just seems kind of pointless. But there was one bit that I showed him from the New Year's montage. My guitar tutor I'm talking about here, and he kind of like identified it for me because I was the you may Nikki bit that kind of goes. I played that and I kind of improvised with the G major scale over it and kind of goes like. I can't remember how, what I exactly did, but it just kind of randomly played for the G major scale, essentially. And it didn't sound like G major when I played over this, you know? So I was like, so what's going on there? It sounds very distinctly different from, like, you know, just like... And he'd, like, pointed out that it's uh, Mixolydian. It's the... It's one of the modes... Well in any of the major or minor scale kind of, you know. But it's, it, it is in G major, but it's D. D Mixolydian. I was apparently playing. Which gave a very distinct sound, and it's kind of... Funny, really, because, like, uh, the bit of a pause <laughs> as I was thinking of the words, just like... Because, like... In the lessons, currently kind of going with, like, Mixolydian examples, and I'd, like, end up doing that without even realizing it. But then there was, like, this one as well that came, like, after it that I'd also showed. Also from You May Not Keep Both of These Melodies. Ah, I just improvised over them. And I did the same thing. G major scale kind of random improvised over it. 
but it's different chord forms. That would be a C major, which if it's G major would make it C Lydian. So yeah, I, overall, it's kind of neat, you know, hearing, hearing like all this, you know, kind of like just realizing it's like I've been playing some of these like and not realize what I was actually doing this whole time. Uh, echo, answer the door, or whatever. Uh, so yeah, that's neat. I didn't get to ask about the uh, bit that I did at the end where it's like doing a variation of the... Uh, Melancholy where it's just like, wait, wait, you seem familiar in some kind of strange way. I feel like we've met before, and not in a good way. So, uh, uh, I'll just stand here awkwardly. You know, I'll just pause, actually. Pause. Well, it's got music, but who cares? Uh, what was I on about again? You know what I was like. If you'd actually seen the New Year's video, you might know what I'm on about, where it's like... I played like variations of Melancholic, you know, it's a Vocaloid song. I also did like Last Night, Good Night, but in a different key, it was in the key of... Uh, uh, F major was the key I was going with, and I didn't want to change it, so I just mixed the two together. I think uh, Last Night Good Night is originally the key of D major, B minor. But yeah, so I was doing that, but the chords again just didn't really sound like F major, and I didn't have D, ma D minor in there, so it couldn't have been those two. Well, it might have been the F major, but it just had a distinct sound, and I didn't get to ask about it, so I was like, damn it! I've still got many questions to ask! So many unanswered questions! And it was just like, the whole lesson was kind of focused on, you know, what I didn't actually practice, you know? Because I was kind of distracted, busy, things like that. Whoa, 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 what was that? Whoa! Did she just smack the booty? Are you serious? Because if so, this is incredibly fitting. Because guess who it is? No, that's just the hippie woman. But guess who he's talking to? It's Maya! Of course I had to have her appear in this game. And of course, if you haven't actually seen my LP of Yandere channel, my other channel, you'll have absolutely no idea who this character is. Even if you've seen my Project Eva FLV where I had the character kind of return to kind of, you know, like, uh, continue to stalk Echo throughout the random clips. But, you know, Rin representing her, Rin doesn't look anything like Yandere Chan herself. And Nihil does this, to be fair, but this one's slightly more like her, I suppose, because. She actually has the silver white hair. So, um, 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 rainy days. Okay, my, let's see if you actually like this story. Okay, so, is that hippie guy? It might be a hippie guy. Because he was out in the sun, he was whispering it, actually. And that all went in the toilet, I can tell you that much. Greet that guy when you can. So then a light thing happened, the light was switched on. Flowers were picked. The bus was gonna arrive in an hour, and the scientist was like, get to work. And then there were more flowers to be picked. And Maxine wasn't having any of that. So it, 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 my story went in the toilet. Well, at least you liked the first two chapters. We'll meet again someday, Echo! Wait, 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 I'm underreacting here, aren't I? Isn't- Wait, 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 what? Oh man, it's like none of us really act in character here at all! It's like Evil Blackboard, where he was like dancing and all that, and he just seemed so out of character. 
I mean, what's going on? Surely I should be running for the hills with Maya around. But hey, it's a sim. She can't do anything too bad, right? Right? Piano, I must know. I must go, for my people need me. And my people, I mean, uh, he's still an arsonist, isn't he? Boo. Boo. Well, got a boo and shit. You know, I remember joking about this place where it's like, so they just kind of like, you know, sit around and uh, sing Kumbaya. That was literally randomly picked up by guitar later that day. I didn't actually know the chords, but I figured them out effortlessly. It's just random how that work. It's like... Boo. It's just like... It's another thing I went over with my guitar tutor is like the kind of... Because like, in terms of like, uh, positions of the chords, like the numbering of it, that's just one... Just those three chords, and that's it. I even figured out how to play like the uh, Kumbaya with like a kind of, you know, melody kind of thing, you know, note by note. Nope. Nope. Just so easy to figure out that one. That's also neat, I suppose. This place sucks. Where's the food? You just. They're not even singing Kumbaya. They're just playing Kumbaya. I mean, what the hell is that shit? At least sing it. It's just like. Actually. Does it even have much lyrics to it? I just remember it's like. Kumbaya, my lord. Kumbaya. Kumbaya, my lord. Kumbaya. Kumbaya, my lord. Kumbaya. No, doing that wrong. I've never actually sang the song before. Despite, can you imagine that? Just like me sitting around a campfire, just like. I totally just sing it like a complete idiot rather than sing it in a serious way. As is to be expected, you know. Nude! <laughs> well, you're starting to get the hang of it, maybe. You know. Like with guitar, like I said, just mentioned, you know, I've actually got a guitar tutor, I've had lessons in the past as well, and still a lot to learn with it, but I've never once had a lesson when it comes to piano or keyboard. So anytime I'm ever like playing my keyboard or anything like that, it's purely just self-taught on that one. If anything, I kind of apply like what I learned on the guitar to my keyboard. Because it's the same notes, essentially, I've just got to figure out how to kind of apply it. I still find sharps and flats are not playing though, because I can't tell what's the difference, honestly. It's like if I go like... E... F sharp. E... F sharp. E... F sharp. E... F sharp. How do I know that that isn't just a G flat? What would make the difference? Would it be in the direction it comes at? Would it be like... Sharp? If I do go from A to it, it'd be a flat, maybe? Yeah, it does give a different kind of sound, but it still confuses the hell out of me how you'd actually be able to tell.
what are you doing with your hand there? It's like you're having a seizure. Is he even... Is, is he even touching the piano at all? What the hell key you play again? Not that one. I don't know why I am even playing guitar randomly. Well, you know, that's the funny thing, actually, you know, aside from rambling, which is a long-term kind of thing, you know, for me, where it's like, I've rambled probably since the beginning of these, you know, let's plays in general since I started. But not only that, it's the same with guitar. I've been playing guitar in my videos from the very beginning. Well, yeah, the first... One of the first two LPs I'd ever done was Clock Tower on a Super Nintendo. And I remember just playing guitar randomly, where I'd come up like with the healing theme, which is just like kind of C major and all that, just kind of like... I suppose it could be considered an arpeggio, but I didn't know what the hell an arpeggio was back then. Heck, I didn't even know what a note was. I remember the first guitar lesson I had with my current tutor is just like, so do you know the notes of the fretboard? Is like, yeah, that's the first fret, second fret. Like, no, the notes is like, this is like F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E. It's like, I didn't know that until I had those lessons. It's just like, everything just starts to slowly piece together. It's just like, oh my god, I'm such an idiot. How did I not realize it? Wow. Because nobody points it out for me, I suppose, but there's also other things like, you know, the note positions, like in a scale, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven notes. And like there's an interval kind of thing where if you keep counting, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. It's like when you reach like nine or eleven or thirteen or even six, you just like. To make a 6th chord, a ninth chord, or an 11th chord, or a 13th chord, you just have that, that oh. note that appears, you know? Well, probably not, because the way I'm wording is just confusing. I don't know why I'm going, like, kind of odd guitar tutor mode myself here. But, like, you know, it's like, uh, I don't even know. Just essentially, whatever notes, like, is in the scale. Like the ninth note, for example, you just apply that to the first, third, and fifth note, and you add that on, and it becomes a ninth chord. But that probably makes no sense because I'm no teacher. So I will put the guitar down now because otherwise I will not stop playing the damn thing. Burgers! You didn't have to hit <laughs> the piano like that. Burgers! Who says burgers? I'll be back in a few seconds. Life sucks. Can't even talk to a per person because they're playing the piano all the damn time like that. Guy who's out playing this keeps playing his guitar all the time. I mean, jeez, get on with the commentary, man. You know another odd kind of thought I had with music is that music is like, you know like some people like, music is life! They're just like, you know, it's kind of weird in a way, cause like, you know, music... You'll get a promotion, you're an extortionist! It has been promoted to extortionist, your past experience with vandalism, burglary, mugging and arson has uniquely qualified you for your new job! All you have to do is show up and they hand over the money. Keep pumping up your body and your reputation to keep everyone scared. Next promotion, Hitman. You completed the goal! Now you got the ping pong table! Yeah, I was just saying, you know, music is like... I think their notes would be called tones, I think. And it's just like sound in general would be that, wouldn't it? Just be like, I'm talking right now, I don't know what, like, 
marked tone I'm talking in, but it could be like anything, like any of the notes. In music, it's just just like my mind just feels like it's going to melt the more I like overthink these things. It's like you'd be like, oh, you're talking in E major or something like that. It's just like music on the brain lately, I gotta say. Now we'll be probably here with it. I've got your tennis table back. I must have burgers. No, not birds, I said burgers. Burgers, burgers, and burgers, 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 burgers. What is with those suggestive noises? Just dump me on the floor, or why not? Yuck. Yuck, indeed. What? Yuck! Into the trash we go, into the trash! Why am I singing like this? I don't know. That would... well, I don't know. You'd just be like, oh yeah, I'm singing in a 1-3... wait, no, 1-4-5 progression. It's like, ah oh, man, I don't even know. I'm kind of rambling on with that, aren't I? But it's just like, but what key? And I need to enter the cheat gnome, so... So that... Ooh! You know the pain the ass thing about recording, though, is like... Uh... Getting the audio synced up. It's much more easier with, like, say, the Final Fantasy X LP, because if a character is talking and I'm silent for a cutscene, it kind of stands out if it's like, you know, actually do that, well, whatever. So, like, it kind of stands out more, you know, so, like, makes it easier to recognize. And God damn it, why have you always got work? Because I'm a busy, busy dolphin, I suppose. But, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, like, so if a character says something and, like, the audio doesn't sync up with the Audacity recording, because the Audacity recording would pick it up as well, so it'd make it much easier to sync the two audio together. But in this scenario, it's a bit different, because I'm talking the whole damn time and there's not really anything distinctive. Might as well put out the trash. hell is that sound? Hmm. Sir Lack, uh, my bus is here. I'm in my PJs, but I'll go to work like that. It'll intimidate them for sure. So he's gotta get his next promotion, and we're immediately going back to the mansion after this, essentially. I mean, really now? Wait, actually. Yeah, straight to the mansion. Man, I'm just too hardcore for life, aren't I? Just, just too gangster, motherfucker. Then I keep getting promotion after promotion, and I'll be a boss one day. Well, I'm already a boss, but I'll be even more of a boss, and quite literal boss, when I become a boss. Does that make sense? No. It's not supposed to. Wakey wakey shithead! Yeah, wakey wakey shithead! That's 
Live it up. You know, with the Sims 2 LP, with <laughs> such <laughs> memorable words as Robin Lubica and Marg and stuff like that, I didn't expect there'd be kind of, you know, all quotable kind of dialogue in this one. That could compete with that, but some of it is. It's like, Live it up. That's starting to catch on a bit. And more other ones, there was another one that kind of stands out in this game. I can't remember where it was. Get on the bus! You're gonna miss that, aren't you? I just know it, because you're not getting on it. You pulled the Mortimer! Ying! How could you? What the fuck? It looks like she was giving the bust of fingers like, yeah, fuck you. Of course, it'll probably look different when I'm actually editing it, because I can't see the screen quite as well. But yeah, what was the rambling about? Oh yeah, the quotable sim dialogue so far. There was another one, but I can't remember where it was, so I guess it wasn't quite as quotable if I can't remember where it was, but it really stands out. Well, as of course, when they wake up, we're like, <laughs> Sounds like my dad, honestly. That's how my dad would sound like if he was a sim. He tends to shout a lot. He's just like, <laughs> Of course, he actually, you know, shouts words, but it might as well not be, because all I hear is, <laughs> So like, uh, what you gonna do? Well, just leave it to your own things. When's that gonna get back? Echo gets back at three. Yeah, this place kind of reminds me of The Sims 2 P PS2 version. I think they had a similar location that was up on a mountain or a hill or wherever. I'm not entirely sure though. There are quite a few locations. I might help Peter Sims 2 someday as well. You know, the PS2 version, because it's very different. It actually has a plot of some sort. Well, not really. I mean, this game has more of a plot, but, uh, it's pretty lacking in itself, really. It's just like, get promotions and, uh, yeah. And kick Malcolm's ass. That That is the goal of the game. Get promotions, kick Malcolm's ass. Then maybe get married. But of course, as Persona 4 has taught us, me, well, anyone who's played it, essentially, uh, or seen my LP, who knows how your introduction to it is, there is a question in the game where it's like... What is the origin of the word marriage? And the answer was... To gamble, or something like that. Which totally makes sense, because marriage is a damn trap. It's like, sometimes it works for some people, sometimes it don't. Usually it doesn't, because Lord of Divorces and shit happen, you know. So it's like, I consider it a trap. But anyway, Echo's a fucking hitman! Echo's been promoted, and some people just don't listen to reason. That's when you come in when the boss has a mess that needs cleaning. He relies on your expertise in quick, efficient, and dependable, disposable jobs. Next promotion, mob boss. You completely do, motherfucker! You got this. What? The brawly bastard grill? Does it really have the word bastard in it? You know, I thought this was... Well, it's 7 plus. It's kind of weird, really. I, like... I've got the cases for the Final Fantasy X and Sims busting out. Like, right in front of me. And Final Fantasy X is, like, 12 and up. And the Sims busting out is 7 and up. You'd think it'd kind of be the other way around. 
Because this game has more kind of like mature themes than Final Fantasy X in terms of, you know, what they considered adult stuff. I mean, they got like the whole just like, and score at a party thing, and then they have like, bastards in there as well. I don't remember any cursing in uh, Final Fantasy X. Do, 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 do. Where is Fingerbob anyway? Eating burgers. We might as well talk to her before we leave. To the mansion. And stuff. Where is she? She has become one with the trees. Put the burger on the floor. Here go. Yo! Nice pickle! <laughs> Pixels, not pickles! Money, money, money! Must be funny! Well, what's funny about money anyway? I don't get it. What, what, where's the humor at? Money! Yo, hello, guy! I think there's someone at the door, yes. Max out his motives, greet him, because why not? Friendship! Well, we don't need to have any more than eight. I will leave you with a parting gift then. I will max your motives as well. So that you won't be in such a pain, you know, just like bad mood and stuff. So, it's been a nice little really hippie for a while, but I'm out of here. Gotta get another promotion, gotta go back to my mansion. Hopefully the bill hasn't, like, arrived yet while I've been gone, you know, because it's apparently expensive place. The bird is just loud. Hey, I thought you were gonna help us deal with the land grab gadget. Now you're leaving? You're lost, man. You're lost. Right on. Well, come around, go Holy shit, they owe Echo a lot. How did these hippies even get that? Oh, yeah. Cult, maybe. Yes. You know, boggles my mind. Cult, too. It's just like. Just boggles my mind. Just be like someone could just be like, oh yes, follow me, everyone, and I will take you to the promised land, love, peace, and all that. But what I, what this really translates is to, give me your money and uh, your bodies, females, of course, of course, uh, so we can have orgies and drugs and smoke all the whatever snorting shit wherever not shit but you know whatever you essentially just like drugs alcohol sex and money and it's just like it's just a con i'll never understand this but anyways kind of a bit of a ramble there wasn't it but yeah cults man has anything ever come out of a cult that's actually been good And roads. Just one road, because there are no other roads. Just the one road that leads in there. I have arrived home yet again, and the music stopped, and that person's still there. Who is it? Uh, it's, 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 it's. Whoever the hell you are. Oh, it's the artsy, fartsy woman. Why, is Malcolm here? That'd be kind of weird, wouldn't it? It's like, oh, you've arrived. You come to get your mansion back? Well, too bad. And tell a wonderful story. No compliments. 
Man, who doesn't like to be complimented? Hey, Mortimer. Yeah, bye, Mortimer. It's the other art guy. Ships be sailing, planes be flying. Wait, I've done this before, man. Planes still be flying, cars still be driving. So, like, you know, Tone, or whatever his name is, he, he was out on his yacht the other day, and uh, he was like, I've got, like, this picture of money happening, and it didn't happen because uh, you didn't agree with me. Well, fuck you, too. How about you, man? Let's have a chat, and I'll tell you another story. Maybe you'll appreciate these stories. Very big party celebration. I can tell great party stories. Holy shit, Mortimer's already back. Like, oh, no, I, can't. I came back after just, like, leaving. Just like I forgot something. Keep on hobbling you, ma. Oh, yeah, now I remember another one that kind of stands out. Quote wise for the dialogue is like, uh, Degledong. So, like, uh, this story, it's not making a lot of sense. I uh, kind of skipped through most of it, but uh, it wouldn't have made sense either way. Sorry about that. Hey, Mormon Man, nice to see you. Same shit. So, like, I was sailing the other day. And it didn't go well, so I was like, you know what? Sailing's just not for me. <laughs> Never is just using it for my pool. I mean, we're a bunch of bastards. Okay, we got old Maxine. Maxine, Max, Maxine. Well, you can have dinner or whatever first. Actually, fuck. That was a bad idea because now, just be like, if he calls in now, just be like, have you any idea what time it is? Seriously, the nerve, the nerve. Nerve is calling this late at this hour. I mean, outrageous. Gonna be pissed, man. Oh, you are pissed. Well, you know, planes will be flying. They're making a lot of noise, leaving trails in the air, and occasionally uh, sucking up a bird. And the bird does not approve of that, you know. Oh, man, I'm tired. I'm too tired for this shit. Well, you choose the yellow bed, why not? Promotion in the morning, mob boss dream come true. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Phones be ringing at two in the morning, I mean, jeez, I thought I was bad with that. May take a couple of hours. Mm. Holy shit, your bladder's gonna burst, that show. Mm. Oh man, what happened to my duty? <laughs> Was that a monkey? Well, it was someone laughing at me, like, just like, hoo hoo hoo, or something, I didn't even know what that was. Well, 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 I can wash your hands at least. Okay, now you may go. What? Just like, I was gonna make something to eat, but then I was like, you know what, I'm gonna have a bath instead. 
Echo has never had a bath in his entire life. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm originally a dolphin, right? So I've, I've been water a lot more than you ever could imagine. I didn't even know, it's kind of weird. Anybody out here? Any bills? Echo, you might not want to do that. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Just stand out here, wait for the bus. Catch the bus. Because even mob bosses, or soon to be mob bosses, need to use public transportation for some reason. You know, is it just me or are there actually bird sound effects in the game that sound almost like, you know, my birds? That likes a chip a lot, it's going to be hard to tell the difference. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Got all sorts of noises going on. It's like, Mortimer sure does like to visit a lot, doesn't he? Well, they are bros for life. So I guess Mortimer is the Sinjin of this game then. If you've seen my LP of the Sims 3, you'll know which character I'm referring to when it's like... They were friends throughout the whole LP. Well, I think for the most part. I think they might have fell out at one point, but still. We're still bros for life, Echo. That is why I keep coming here. I am persistent. If only I stuck around a second longer, I would have been greeted. <laughs> you may be mine, you're the mob boss. Teary eyed, but it's just like, yeah. Yeah. I'm the mob boss, motherfucker. What kind of scenario are we gonna get this time? Like, oh, it's Echo! Wait, no, 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 I'm a ears being assaulted again. So it's not like his bodyguard or something now, it's just like, yeah, Malcolm got no place here hogging the spotlight. You birds are ready for takeoff. Just like you piss off out of here. Too bad the boss wouldn't give you that big raise you wanted. He might have lived. Whoa. <laughs> now you run the family and people have to do what you say. Just on the agreement with all the other bosses that everyone gets filthy rich. So that, that's pretty uh, grim, isn't it? <laughs> Just like, yeah, essentially it implies that Echo killed his boss and became the new mob boss. It's like, what have I become? <laughs> I became a gangster. I have fallen to an all new low. I have become a mob boss. It may be the dream of some people, but man, what have I done? What have I become, Barber? What have I become, my sweetest friend? Every. No, no, no. I'll just get a new job and everything will be better. 
the question is, what job should we go with? Max <laughs> just like, he's become the mob boss, but he's like, a new career sounds exciting, I can always get my old job back if I want without losing anything. Should I switch jobs? I mean, sure, there's nothing to lose about, you know, just be like, you know what? Oh shit, he's got bills to pay. All the more reason to get a new job, to get the hell out of here so I don't have to pay the bills every damn time. Just like, yeah, ditch the whole mob bus, persona, jazz, and all that, and just go on with a new job. It's just like he was a deaf ready inventor or something, and space time thing, or whatever the last mad scientist one was. And now he's like, uh, mob boss, but he's going to make it up for what he has done by destroying the community. Well, you know, with how he destroyed the community, rather. He is going to take up the movie career. Your boss will arrive at 9 a.m. But I don't think the first location actually matters to get the promotion. But I think, anyway. Well, actually, it does now I think about it, because it's when you get the job that you move out of his mom's house, so. Yeah. We're going to be moving in with Mimi, which we haven't done. In this entire thing because we haven't had any of the jobs that fit her location. Get the mail. How expensive are we talking here? I hate when they do that. It's just so annoying. Just put their bills on the table. Great Makino. How's it going? Let's talk a little. Well, sure was uh, putting a little in uh, uh, talking there, I suppose. At the bills. Holy shit, that's expensive. Bills, 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 bills. Bills, 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 bills. And I'm out here. Oh man, I'm too tired to drive. What if I. Well, it's not any cars on the road. There's just the one road. Surely nothing could come of that. Roads, shit, as my car says. General, uh, I'll greet you when I move in here next. I'm gonna f probably fall asleep when I get back to Mimi's place. Away! Birds are rattling a mirror bells like crazy. And it's nothing new, you do that every single day, but. Yeah, there's no stopping him. I just kind of staring at him blankly, just like, dude, he's not rattling it, and then he goes back to rattling it. But you know what? I'm gonna call it a part here, and the next part will start off with this screen, because I'm gonna record it immediately after, in what a predictable way there, isn't it? So I'll see you next time, viewers. See you next time.